guys, welcome to the library. Yeah. Have you done much research this year? No. 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 Have you done much surfing on the internet? No. No. At home. At home, yeah. We researched our music outside. That's good. Yeah. And um, yeah. what'd you use to research music? Yeah, the computer. Computer. Yeah. You like the internet, guys? <laughs> yeah. Really, no. What do you use it for mostly? Research. Ooh. Think about that. Do you use the internet at home mostly for research? No. no. For what? Information. No, like, uh, I'm confused for when I Music talk. and stuff. Music? Yeah. Socializing? Don't tell the guys. Sure. Yeah, sure. Yeah. So, where would you start your research project? Search engine. A search engine. I like oh. to start in a book. Oh. I work my way to the computer. Excellent. You know? He already knew the answer to that. Well, tell Sometimes me. I switch it up a little. What would you use to find your information on a book or in the internet? That was, that was towards you. No, it's the, I, uh, a search engine. Search engine. What would you use in the search engine? In, information giver. An information giver. What else? What What do you put in the back? How do you, how do you look up a book? You type, you in type it book. in and you hit enter. <laughs> what do you type in? The title. The title. Title? Well, what if you didn't know the title? Then, author. What if you didn't know title or an author? Then you yeah, don't like, know what the book is, so like you don't look it up. Category, like something that... Ah, uh, category, you're getting closer. You're getting... Nick? Jared? Take it away. How are you? <laughs> well, let's move to the next question. What would you do your research on? What topic? Bioterrorism. That's a perfect topic. Not too broad, not too narrow. Assassinations. Oh, that's that's a good one too. You might have to focus on one or two or why. Or, yeah. Yeah. Excellent. You guys are all ready to start your eighth grade research project. Except we're gonna have to learn a little bit about valid sources. What would you think a valid source might be for a research? Library door. Well, it may be a good website to start at, but what do you think? What's a val give me one valid source books. Excellent. Yes. You get the prize today. <laughs> I was going to say books. What do I get? Questions. What do you get? Yeah. You get an A. Right here in the library we have another 8th grade girl ready to start her research endeavors. Now you received no instruction yet on research, have you? In 8th grade English, right? No. no. So tell me, Michaela, where would you start a research endeavor? Uh, on the computer. Good. What might you look for? Uh, the, the topic, like what you're searching, like what you're researching about. What do you call that topic? Is there another name for that? Probably. Um, what might you do your topic on? Well, give me an example of something you might want to research. Um, how divorced families can affect children. Pardon. I don't know. Ooh, I wonder how like Bolivia or something like that. Oh, would you say that again? <laughs> Oh, I'm doing like bulimia or something like that. Bulimia? Do you know anybody bulimic? Um, no. <laughs> no, well, that's all right. Uh, you don't have to know somebody bulimic to do a research report on them. But sometimes it, knowing somebody with a problem triggers interest in it. Tyler, what do you think you'd like to know more about? I don't even know. You don't know? No. How about, uh, what are you interested in, sports? Sure. What do you think of the recent steroid scandals in baseball? Mm, it's cheating. Two eighth graders. Hi there. Hi. <laughs> you guys are ready uh, to embounce, uh, embark on a research project, aren't you? We are. We are. Oh so man. Yeah. Anyways, go ahead. Let, let me tell you. Let me ask you a few questions. Uh, if you were going to do research, where would you start? What do you mean, like a place or? I would start like, on the computer. Start on the computer. Where would you start? I'd probably start on the computer, and then I'd like go to the library or something. Where would you go? To, where would you go on the computer? Um, to the library door. <laughs> I Why go would to Google. 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 What would you? What would you do at Google? Let's say. It, well, I'd Google what it was that. Um, what would you type in Google? Whatever it is. Uh-huh. But wait, what's the assignment about? Very good question. <laughs> you have an inquisitive mind. We're going to hear all about that. Let me let me ask you this. Um, why would you choose Google over some other place? Because Google has everything. Google's your friend. Google. Can, do you think you can trust everything out on Google? Probably not. Maybe but if it says, like, dot, edu, 
www.gov. Well, that's a pretty good thing. So in other words, you'd look at the address maybe. Yeah. You'd scrutinize it a little bit. Good. Where else could you go? you have any clue? Yahoo. Yahoo. Besides, <laughs> let, let me ask you this. What is Yahoo and Go Google, their search engines, right? What do they find you? Um, results. results and information. Hmm. One of you is right and one of you is wrong. Well, it does give you. <laughs> well, the right answer, please stand up. Well, we're both standing up. Sure. <laughs> Yeah, Google and Yahoo just find your results. That's we'll ask Andrew. Oh, Andrew, God. tell me, what what is Google and Yahoo? What do they find you? Uh, info on books or people. That's what I do said. you think so? <laughs> yes. Well, Lynn says they just find your results. Well, what they do. <laughs> how how in the world would Google know if it if something has information on it? Project Andrew, could you tell me where would you look for information? Um, probably Google. <laughs> you know, you guys all said Google, and you know what? That's okay because Google's the bomb too. But you're about ready to find out other alternatives. Small, there's also a student resource center on library door. Yeah. Come to the library. Are you pleased to be here? Yeah. Tell me, Brooke, um, are you getting ready to do a research project? I don't know. <laughs> well, let's say you are. Uh, Brooke, where would you start for research? Uh, the computer. On the computer? Good. Where would you go? Google. Google. I like Google, too. What do you like about Google? Uh, because it's easy to find stuff. It's easy. What if I told you everything on Google wasn't really valid or credible? Then I'd go to books. What would you research? What topic? That may be good. Good. Um, what would you type in Google if you went to type in about, you know? Probably Nazis. Nazis. That would be your keyword? Yeah. Yeah. Good. Research season. Mm -hmm. We look forward to seeing you. Thanks. So you'd look at maybe the address or something? Yeah. Good. Or the company or the sponsoring. Mm -hmm. Pretty good. That's a key point to evaluate. Tell me, um, did you ever hear of a database? Yeah. Yeah, where would you use that for? Um, research. Good. Well, maybe we'll take you to a few. Football is a good topic. It might be a little too broad. How would you narrow that? You know. Ask me some, a few questions. Um, could you tell me, now that you're seniors and you're headed to college, tell me what you learned about research um, in the high school here, or in the middle school? Well, there's a lot of databases you can use, and to, see, I want to get this. Um, Where would you start your research if you needed to? Librarydoor.com. <gasps> Whoa, <geez. laughs> You are the bomb. Tell me, where would you start your research if you Librarydoor.com. You would. What would you choose? What do you mean? Depending what on would you choose on library door? Um, well, they have little scroll downs, which are convenient. <laughs> yeah. So you can look up English resources, you can look up social studies resources. I want to stop shopping, maybe? Yeah. Well, good. It's like Target. What do you think? Walmart. <laughs> oh, isn't that great? To Har Walmart for research. Yeah. Tell me, um, what would you type in your little boxes? What, yeah, what the topic. So give me an example. What did you do research on here in the high school? Um, I did a paper on homelessness. Homeless? English. <laughs> Good. Now, do your teachers let you go out on the internet and research on the internet? Um, sometimes. Sometimes. Depending, depending on what the topic is and yeah. how hard it is to find stuff on it. Aha. Uh -huh. So first, where would you check? Library door. Databases. And, and then if there's nothing there, then you can go <laughs> somewhere else. What would you type in those little boxes? Keywords. Where are you headed to college? ACC. <laughs> <laughs> Me too. Where are you there?
Really? That's excellent. Where are you going? I'm at ACC. Good for you. Are you working? This is the ACC crowd. Yes, except for her. Time for another question? Yes. Tell me, what's wrong with doing research on the internet? It could be wrong. It could be fake. People can make it up. Wikipedia. Yeah. What's wrong with Wikipedia? It can be edited by anybody. Mm hmm So it can be false information. Yeah. What does your teacher like reports of false information? No. no. Not, not mm. usually, no. <laughs> it's maybe great to get background information, but you don't... General information, but specifics, you should go to a database. Good for you. Hey, just, over and out. just to copy-paste and put that stuff in your paper? Of course not. That's plagiarism. No. Oh, that's plagiarism. <laughs> <laughs>